On CBS 3 at 4, we told you state police shut down part of I-95 in Philadelphia today to search for evidence related to a highway shooting. The gunfire erupted on I-95 North late last night, and now this evening, we're learning more about the victims. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo joins us live with more. Matt? Well, just police say those victims are lucky to be alive. They were taken here to Temple University Hospital. They're listed in stable condition after their vehicle was struck several times. Now authorities are trying to figure out what happened. Some sort of altercation occurred in Philadelphia. State police confirmed today a fight between two groups of people may have led to gunshots being fired along I-95 last night. Police shut down part of the highway for almost an hour just before noon today while detectives combed it for clues. So going out there today, that was a, there was a possibility that, that that is where this crime occurred. So we wanted to send our troopers out, our investigative team to to uh, look for any and all evidence. Two victims told investigators they were shot at while driving along I-95 in Philly near Girard Avenue around 930 last night. You can see several bullet holes in the driver's side of the vehicle. A 25 year old woman from Narstown who was in the front passenger seat was hit in the leg. A 24 year old man from Philly in the back seat was also struck in his leg. We feel as though these two parties knew each other. They had some sort of prior interaction prior to this. Police wouldn't say what the fight was about, but did say a third person was in the SUV. That person was not hit, but questioned after being seen driving the bullet ridden vehicle in the area of Kensington. Now police are trying to find the shooter. We want to make sure that we exhaust all the leads. And so right now, authorities tell us they're looking over security video that might have captured any part of that shooting. Anyone with information is urged to contact state police. Reporting live at Temple University Hospital, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Matt, thank you.